Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, February 20th. And I am here with two upper elementary art teachers, Timbra Long and Tracy Wilcott, who did an incredible assignment about art history. In fact, I think it's entitled Getting Lost in Art History. So just a little preview. If you're walking through the elementary school and you see these amazing portraits on the wall, what is it all about? It's really just bringing art history alive for our students and how they bring about taking a famous piece of artwork and creating it with themselves in it. So they're bringing themselves into artwork. All right, that's the getting lost part. Um, it was a great three-part project. Uh, students had to work in a group, pick um, a portrait that they felt was important to them, paint the background so they all have different art movements and different kinds of color mixing they had to learn how to do, and of course, either find the props or invent the props, as like one group did, um, to recreate it as close as possible to the original. Well, let's go in depth and look at some of this, um, some of the creations, and talk to students about what they did. And I am here with four fifth grade artists, and their names are Hafsa Khan, Fahira Duta, Titi Akanade, Lulu Mahfouz. And I think I know which one is the girl in Gustav Klimt's portrait right here of the girl. And what's, what's the title of this piece? It's called Portrait of Mada Primavasi. When I look at the flowers on the belt, the cummerbund, as well as um, in the ground, I, th I think a lot about color and design. What, what were some things that you might have learned from doing this about color and design? We learned that in order to make the colors in the picture as precise as the one in the original, we had to, we had to mix a variety of different colors just to make it as exact. Just a, so that um, you wanted to try to match as carefully as possible. And sometimes um, you mixed colors together. And sometimes what, you, what else might you have done? Sometimes we used water. And water made it like more liquid and it blended better. Great, thank you. And now I'm with this group that did The Man Holding a Skull by Michael Swartz. Please introduce yourself. My name is Omar Al Hassan. My name is Keith Perlu. My name is Rian Khan. My name is Neertar Deb. And Omar, as you can see, was the imitation of the painting. Now, why is this man holding a skull? What do you think? Um, he must have had a dark life that he uh, has felt very sad throughout his life. And he was also influenced by scary paintings. All right, so he was influenced very much by this movement. Um, what did you learn about art and painting by doing this? Well, what I learned mostly was like making the right colors. And the, like, the hardest part for us was kind of like making, getting the props. Um, we also learned that we had to move the brush up and down to get um, a good stroke. Uh -huh. So back here? Yeah. yeah. I also learned that sometimes uh, uh, Michael Swartz will like, change his color. Sometimes he'll have a dark and then he'll go to light. Yes. So we had to blend that in. Yes. Yeah. A lot of um, black and white in this photograph, huh? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Now we're here with Frida Kahlo's painting, and this group consists of... I'm Cecilia Lamela. I'm Lena Idris. I'm Aisha al -Subay. All right. And so you, in order to do this, you had to work together as a group. You had to not only do the background, but you also had to do the props and the setup so that it looked as identical as possible. What did you learn together about working as a group? Well, mostly we learned how to mix the colors and do the different kind of colors. Okay, mixing the colors to get the different kinds of colors. What else? Um, we learned like that we had to bring the props like all together. Okay, good. So you had to bring the props. So what did you um, bring? Well, we brought the um. We made the hand earring and the um, strip of pa paper uh -huh. down on there and the scarf uh -huh. and the necklace over there. Uh -huh. And 
we had to bring the flowers too and kind of stick them all together to right. make them get them together in yeah. the right arrangement. Okay. So when you work together as a team, you have to make sure that you're all working collaboratively and you don't let each other down, right? Anything about that? Um, we had to bring uh, all our props because if we didn't, then um, it's not going to look really the same. Well, thanks. You have a beautiful product. Thank you. We'll look at different examples that the students produced. But when you think about our second strategy about students will be prepared for a changing future, and we think about the skills of critical thinking, creativity, even these were then taken and a PowerPoint was produced to be able to look at all of the products electronically. This project is indeed a blend of, of those important things in our curriculum, not just about the art history, as important as that was, but being able to work collaboratively in a group together with all of the creative thinking exemplified. So make sure when you come into the elementary school that you stop and you see these fabulous displays um, um, in the hallway. Thanks so much, and that's Sahifa this week.